Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mahi's Life Science channel. In this video, we will discuss about the important function, structure of Imhoff tank and its advantages and disadvantages. Imhoff tank. It is a restructured septic tank and is normally used to treat large community sewage. It was designed by German engineer Karl Imhoff in the year 1876 to 1965. The two important steps take place in Imhoff tanks are first one is clarification of sewage by simple settling and sedimentation method followed by biodegradation of solid material of sewage. The sludge is from time to time removed and exposed to air or it may be used as a manure in the crop field. Imhoff tank can be able to remove 40 to 60 percentage of suspended solid from sewage. Also, BOD reduction is about 15 to 35 percent. It has no mechanical part and comparatively it is very simple and economical to operate. There are five important key features as well as functions of Imhoff tanks are two chamber design, settling chamber, digestion chamber, sludge removal and biogas production. First one is two chamber design. The tank is divided into upper settling chamber and lower digestion chamber. Next one is settling chamber. Raw wastewater enter the upper chamber where solid settle due to the gravity. And the next one is digestion chamber. Settled solid move into the lower chamber where they undergo anaerobic digestion that is breaking down organic matter and they can able to produce biogas. And the next one is sludge removal. The digested sludge can be removed and further treated or it can be disposed. And the last one is biogas production. Anaerobic digestion in the lower chamber generate biogas which can be a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide. Advantages. First one is cost effective. Imhoff tanks are relatively very simple and inexpensive to construct compared to more complex wastewater treatment technologies. And the next one is effective solid removal. They efficiently remove solid from wastewater reducing the load on subsequent treatment processes. And the next one is sludge stabilization. Anaerobic digestion in the lower chamber which help to stabilize the sludge making it easier to handle and dispose. And the last one is potential for biogas recovery. The biogas produced can be collected and used for energy generation process. Disadvantages. First one is limited capacity. Imhoff tank may not suitable for very high flow rate or heavily polluted wastewater. And the next one is odor issue. The anaerobic digestion process can produce foul smelling gases which need to be managed through proper venting and odor control measures. And the next one is maintenance requirement. Regular maintenance including sludge removal and scum removal is necessary to maintain the tank's efficiency. And the last one is potential for biogas contamination. The biogas produced can contain harmful gases like hydrogen sulfide which require careful handling and safety precaution methods. Thank you. Like, share, comment and subscribe for more videos.